Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we are going to go through the Turtles of Greyskull Beast Man. Really loving how this guy looks with all like the little samurai stuff going on. The actual um, card art of this guy, he is fighting uh, Moss Man there. You got Skeletor, Castle Grayskull in the background and stuff. Comes with some looking like some cool accessories going on as well. But there he is coming out with the little cross cell and the other figures that have come out with this line. So let's crack this guy open and have a little closer look. So he comes with his little comic book there. Uh, there is no title on my one and there's no speech bubbles actually within the comic there and it comes with the usual little pamphlet of what is removable which we will go through now I wanted uh, one of the reasons I got this guy I did one there it, like it was getting the better of me really I wanted to see is it the usual book of Beastman? Did they change anything with actually the figure itself? And it doesn't look as though they have. They have just given this whole new outfit. Couple of paint variations on his original chest plate. Though it's got like the little gold there where I think the original was blue. But other than that, it is the same Beastman that we've seen with the first wave of the origins line now <clears throat> so all the actual articulation wise it is all the same and like I say all the pop off and swap modular parts arm head waist and then it would be the feet and the boot cuff there the hands do pop off as well Well, let's just get all his armour on and have a closer detail look at that first. So here he is. It's all like this pearlized blue and gold detail. I mean, the helmet on it. I think it's something else. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. That whole samurai type of look on it. It is flexible type of plastic as well. But the detail on the actual face mask. Got them little fangs there going on. The horns. Absolutely superb. Fits perfectly in. In line with his eyes as well. He's got these little shoulder pads going on. And they do obviously just slip straight off. And then even his waistband have a little look so is so even that's the same color underneath as the original origins as well now he comes with a little shield with a gripper handle now it has got pegs on the back so you could swap with other like of the turtles type of stuff but beastman hasn't got that type of armor to slot on so it just remains in his hand so he's got a little gripper hand there for that and then the other thing he's come now I thought this was would have been better in links type of stuff but it's just like a flexi flexi whip like chained whip with a little handle gripper on with all of this type of stuff he is quite top heavy as well so where you are trying to display him, he may be better placed on one of those uh, it's like figure stands. Because I am just not getting him standing up. He just keeps on wanting to fall forward. Here is the original release. So like I said, the first one was like a blue little icon and they've just painted a little bit of gold in the middle. It is kind of a bit more vibrant orange on the turtles, but other than that, there is literally no change. 
while I've got them stripped off of all of his turtle armour, there is one more figure I want to bring in. And it is obviously Jitsu. I just want to see what he would look like with all of this funky armour on. So I've took the little red, because the red and blue, I think, really just does not suit. Now, everything fits on him quite good, except for the helmet, because of the hairstyle he's got. He's got that bump on his head, and that helmet will just not fit right, which is an absolute shame. I mean, you'd probably get away with a bit of if you arched it down and put a bit of a sticky tack on there to secure it. I mean, he does look cool with all his little gear on. His little weapon, that whip up accessory weapon as well. But there you go, guys. There's my cheeky little review of the Tales of Greyskull Beastman. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. What do you actually think of this figure? While you're there, drop in those comments, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.